Did it rain last night? No, no rain. Maybe tonight. Hit the hole, hit the hole, girl. You go out, you feed the cows, they're hungry, they're waiting for you at the gate, the dirt's blowing. The drought drives our lives so much right now. It's just a miserable existence. My great-great-grandfather worked on a ranch in the 1880s around Amarillo, Texas. My grandfather bought this place, and I have an 11-year-old son. He will be a fifth generation. If my granddad did it, I can do it, but how did he cope with it every day of dealing with the Dust Bowl? I'm facing the same obstacles he did 100 years ago. My name is Casey Murdoch. I'm 43 years old. I live in Felt, Oklahoma, which is outside of Boise City, approximately 20 miles. It was tough when they rolled out here in wagons, and it's equally as tough today. And a single person cannot make it out here by themselves. It takes the neighbors, it takes the community. If something's going wrong in somebody's family or they've had an emergency, there's always somebody here to help you. That's stuff we do here. Lloyd Coble and I grew up together. Our families rodeoed together as we was growing up, and now Lloyd's boy and my son rodeo together. Where his grandfather's famous photo was walking across to the dugout, I run my cows within a half a mile of there. Arthur Rostein was working for the Farm Securities Administration, and he come on to my dad and my granddad and uncle that's in the picture. It's called Fling and Dust Storm. It was taken April 22nd of 1936. Through this drought, I have felt his granddad's pain. In the Dust Bowl, they, they did not have irrigation. Irrigation has turned this country around. I have seen a lot of farmers that had to re-drill their irrigation wells because their original well has gone dry. And that's not a cheap venture. My name is Dr. Manny Insinius. I work for New Mexico State University. I'm an extension beef cattle specialist uh, located out of northeastern New Mexico. You have to drive hundreds of miles to see the numbers of cattle that would have taken just a few miles to see before. Six-year-old cow and a bull calf. If there's no cattle, there's no jobs on the ranches. So families that have lived here for generations and generations have nothing else to do but pack up and go try to find work elsewhere. That wind just dries the grass out so much. And when it dries it off, it gets to a certain point where there is zero moisture in that grass. And the, what's left, it just breaks off with the wind. I check the weather regularly on my phone. 30% chance of rain gives me a little hope. Okay, I, if I can make it to this day, it's gonna rain. Things are gonna be okay. The day comes, it doesn't rain, and it's like a shot in the gut. Well, my dream is to go to the NBA and go play. But if I don't go there, I'll work out here with my dad. I want to leave a legacy to my son, Cash. Uh, I want him to have the opportunity to ranch, to farm, you know, to do this lifestyle. If this drought continues, you know, stick a fork in me, I'm done. You know, we're hard people. You know, we persevere. We're optimists. But it's difficult to see generations and generations of your livelihood go down the drain just because Mother Nature is not delivering. I tell my wife, if we just get through this year, next year will be better. That's the farmer's attitude. You know, if they were the type of person that would give up, you wouldn't have anybody out here doing it.
you've got to be able to take the punches and move on and keep fighting. Keep fighting the fight.